Okay, let's watch that police chase now. This better live up to the hype. I've heard nonstop about this goddamn police chase. So I heard this is like some actual GTA shit. David, we were up over in Knott's Berry Farm, looked out the window. No one told me there'd be jump scares in here. Holy shit. Wow. That was so loud. That uh, skill. How is that? Don't give me that shit at all. That wasn't skill at all. He just wedged himself between the two cars and hit the gas. There was no skill involved in that maneuver. And he also got lucky the car next to him backed up, so he had a little extra space for it. Of Maple Street. So, Huntington Advocate C, they have lit him up. So, someone in chat enlightened me. My dad used to always say hot, hot wiring modern cars is almost impossible. Is that true or false? Like, cars made without, within the last 10 years. Getting mostly trues and a couple falses. So, if he actually hot wires this van, I'm going to have to assume that it's an older van. Yeah, I can actually see that he's trying to hotwire it. He's got the alarm going off. Oh, he's done it. The, the cameraman sounds excited. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. The whole department's here now. Oh! Is he drifting? Those are two... Uh, oh god, he actually What the fuck? Whoa, did you see that drift? This neighborhood, look at this. Holy shit. Around all of those black and whites, those are two uh police officers. Oh my god, this guy must have hopped in this car and made sure that when he hotwired it, he had his copy of Teriyaki Boys on cassette in order to play it through the radio here. What a mean drift. Pretty much out of pocket. See, like, right there, I feel like if he had just stopped and, like, hid somewhere, he might have been alright. Like, this guy is just a piece of shit, though. Hitting so many cars, endangering all these civilians. I'm no fan, but it's hard not to appreciate the entertainment of a good chase. Especially one where there's no one that's injured. Oh! Damn, the, the chopper's in it! Imagine this is like a just cause situation. This chopper drops like a, a grappling hook and hits the hits the van, picking it up and drops them off at the the police headquarters. Fuck me, that'd be so cool. They are directly. I see a lot of people insulting the officers. I disagree. When it comes to chases, I think they have the right philosophy most of the time. Where if it's a like a very dangerous situation, you don't chase because you don't want to endanger civilians. I think that's their policy, and I think that's the right way of handling it. Like, I see a lot of people shitting on them for not engaging in this chase here and, like, going fucking crazy, ramping off of parked tow trucks like it's GTA, and I just think that'd be the wrong way of handling it. I'd be more mad at the officers, because they're not going to be able to drive, like, in a way that doesn't endanger people. So they're letting this guy go solo, they have the chopper on him so they'll always know where he is, and then they will just go in a safer route that doesn't put people at risk. I think that is the right way of handling it, 100%. So I ha I do not blame the cops at all. The only thing I was criticizing is how slow they were to being on him when he was fully stopped. I, since they have the chopper, they're hit, they're getting real time info. I would have expected them to at least be closer to him. I wasn't criticizing them for the lack of like high speed pursuit, f fucking hitting him with the pit maneuver in a residential area. They straight up let him hotwire the truck, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's like that. That's the fuck up I'm talking about. They were so far behind. This dude was able to hotwire a truck, run through five little townhomes, and then back up fucking thirty times before anyone else showed up to the scene. That's what I'm criticizing. It's not the lack of them chasing him through all of these people, like the residential area and like around all of these people's cars. Why didn't they shoot the tires? That's a good point. Like, there was an officer there. He, I, I'm shocked he didn't just start shooting the tires out or something. I feel like it's got to be, like, every officer's dream to, like, pop the tires on a car. Yeah, very fearful, very agitated driver behind the wheel here. It all started... Stray bullets. A That's a fair point, actually. That's he fair. Was it was literally a townhome. Good point. And it appeared we saw him have to there's... There's... That, uh, literally... They're nowhere near him. I had, you know, big W to the announcer here. I can't hear the other end of the guy talking, but I'm assuming he was trying to say, like, the, the cop strategy is to maybe, like, cool down the scene, uh, keep an eye on him so that way, like, as he slows down and things settle down, then they'll swoop in. 
I completely agree with the announcer. This is an absolute maniac. He's already hit like 20 cars, broken into two houses, stole a man's car. Well, stolen two cars, but stole a man's car in front of him. Nearly ran over his dog. This is a guy that they absolutely should swarm to get off the streets as quickly as possible. I completely agree with the announcer. Th this guy is a very big danger to everyone on the road right now. The 605. Oh! Yikes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shit, yikes. Yeah, it can't really break. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep, it's, it's all, it's all crumbling. Alright, there we go. This has to be where it ends. There's no way. So I, all right, I will say I did know that they shot him. He doesn't die. He survives the shooting. I did know that happened. I knew it ultimately ended like that. I just didn't know how we ever got to that point. No, this this is absolutely no. This is absolutely where the the chase ends. There's no shot. They arrested some random guy. What? Oh, what? Why? Is it to get him out of the way of danger or something? Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> nah, you don't have to put the mask on. Man, I had a lot of fun. It's a real shame that it's over now. I hate to say it. Or, I mean, uh, wait, no, it's good. Oh, hey, here we go. Wait, no, they're both in this one. More than 120k raised for men who had their vehicles stolen. And luckily I now have to pay for the LA Times in order to access this. Oh, never mind, I can just allow ads. <laughs> As if, no shot. Let me get another source. Is there no updates on the suspect? What the fuck is this? DUI suspect on horse leads Whittier police on chase? How many police chases do they have in this area? Look at the other guy that got arrested. Well, I'm trying to find just like a full like breakdown within the last couple days, because it's been three days now since this. I would hope they'd have like a full explanation on everything. Oh, here's the GoFundMe page for the Benitez family. Over 100k. That's wonderful to hear. Good. Oh, here we go. He has a GoFundMe as well. 38k. Not as much. But I mean, that's still much better than nothing. But the van is going to be a lot more expensive than the truck. So it looks like for some reason his has been overshadowed. Look at the bystander who got detained in this. It's messed up. Well, how can I find that? That's what I'm looking for. Don't link it. D like, don't link things. I, I just tell me where I can find it so I can look it up. I don't click links. So this is about the bystander who got arrested. I'm going to take a look at this car that Desmond is zooming in on right now. As the chase was coming to an end, the suspect hit that car. And then deputies rammed the suspect into that car again. Then Desmond Shaw and Sky9 spotted deputies running up to that car. At first, Oof. we knew the people inside had been wounded in the shooting, but then we saw officers tackling one of them and walking him away in handcuffs. Yeah, this why? Wait, what the fuck? And he talks about the injuries he says he suffered. The sheriff's smashing into his car. One of them smashed into my car and um, immediately started shooting guns. It just sounded crazy like a war zone. Blah, blah, blah. I got out the car immediately. I don't want my son and my and my wife to get part of that. So we, as soon as I get out the car, the cops just smashed me. Started socking me. Were they confused? Me, like what? if I was the, the dude that stole the car. They, they immediately throw me in cuz and they're dragging me around and... and Bumping my head, hitting my head, did not have to happen that way. I had nothing to do with it. We're just bystanders getting out of their way. Instead, they went and attacked me brutally, you know, in front of my family, in front of everybody. And um, that's it's not right, you know, it's not right. Oh, we talked to the sheriff's department. They give us a comment on what happened. They tell us that.
crews refused to leave the area. So they then took action. Cruz says he was just trying to get his family what? out of the line. Of what? He refused to leave the area. Well, let's, you know what, actually, let's check that out in real time. Let's see how uh, st stern this refusal was to leave the area. I I'm so curious here. Because it looks like he gets hit, and then it is the second the officers show up on the scene, arrested. Okay, let's see. I'm curious. That driver's side. You can see not even a pit maneuver, but they rammed into him from behind into a gas station. Folks okay, so that's his car has now just been hit again. Into a gas pump. So his car has been hit twice. He's going to try and get out, probably. But he, now he's going to put it out in reverse. Back in reverse towards that deputy. Look at this. Ramming into the front end. They're shooting. They're shooting at him. They're shooting. We're going to wind out, and they are now firing into the cab of that pickup truck. Unbelievable. They are using force. Deadly force is being employed at this So he's still there. He hasn't been arrested yet. Now he's being arrested. They are stopped. They have stopped. The wheel the wheel is off. The, that front left It's been it's been a matter of seconds. Actual seconds. Yikes. That's fucking trash. That's some straight garbage right there. That guy did nothing wrong and just gets arrested for getting hit twice. The suspect's name is Johnny Enchado. Thanks for your sub boogie and hyena and potato. Hopefully he gets a payday out of that. Like, can't you sue for that? You, got, you gotta be able to, right? He got an injury so he can sue. He absolutely should. That's so fucked up. Oh my god, I'd be so tight. My car just got hit. Oh my god, my car just got hit again. What the fuck is happening? I'm processing information. Okay, honey, uh, what do I do? The cops are here, they're shooting. Do I, do I pull out and run or is that gonna look suspicious? I don't know what to do. Holy fuck, they're, bl they're opening my door. Oh my god, I'm being arrested. It's been 20 seconds. Like, they want him to literally be like a, like a speedrunner to immediately make this decision instantly. In an intensely stressful situation after being hit twice. Out of nowhere. That is outrageous. Oh yeah, and they and apparently they roughed him up too. Which you could kind of see. Which I said was really fucking weird, because they threw him on the ground and like aggressively handcuffed the shit out of him. That makes no sense. What must have happened is they got confused on who they were actually chasing, and for some reason assumed it was this car. I like I, I, I have no other explanation for why that would have even happened remotely. Because even if they were out there just to, like, fuck things up, they have a perfect target with the guy who's just gone on an hour-long pursuit, a chase. They wouldn't even need to rough up this guy. They, they have someone they can go beat the shit out of. That makes no sense. I think that's the only explanation they didn't want to look dumb. So they tried to come up with some kind of justification for roughing this guy up. But I think the real reason was they got confused on who they were actually chasing. It'd been over an hour. It spanned so much distance that they just simply forgot what the car or suspect looked like. So the first person they saw when they arrived at the scene, because keep in mind, th those people that arrested him, those cops, they showed up so late, they were probably so out of it and just fucked this guy up thinking that this was the suspect. That's the only thing I can make sense of. Just actual idiots. Why lie when asked about it? I... To look less stupid? I don't- I have no idea. I'm not- I don't work for the department. I have no fucking clue. They didn't get confused. I- I see no other reason why they would have. I see people keep saying racism. They had no idea this guy's race when they got there. They literally ripped the first guy out of the car they saw. The, like, I don't think race came into play at all. They legitimately showed up and ripped this man out of his car. He was out of the car? No, he wasn't. Was he? Am I getting confused on which one's him? Because look, they opened the door right here. Right there. Right there. He, unless he was opening the door from being outside, I guess that's possible. It's kind of blurry, but it, to me it looks like they pulled him out of the car. When? It, it opens right here and the cops are already surrounding him. Earlier he was out? Okay, hold on, let me go back to the full one. The camera pans off it, so I can't know for sure, I guess. Is this him standing out there? I was under the impression this was one of the cops. Hearing into the cab of that pickup truck. Unbelievable. They are using force. Deadly force is being employed at this moment to try and stop this madness. 
in the middle. So then uh, the, he starts getting arrested up there. The wheel, the wheel off. The, that front oh, you're right. Yeah, that was him off. standing out there. I thought that was one of the officers. Yep. Is this still going? Oh, you're right. Okay, sorry. I thought that was one of the officers. He goes to get back in, and that's when they rip him out. Yeah, so that's what this is. So it's him opening the door, and then them taking him down. You're right. You're right. I, I thought that was an officer outside at the start. He's not following order. Yeah, that's that's just a dog shit take. It had, I think, real time, it was 20 seconds from the second time his car gets hit. That's 20 seconds of pure panic. Instantaneous chaos. One second you are parked with your family. Next second you've been hit by a pickup truck. And then you get hit again by the same pickup truck after a cop hits it. You're fucking stunned. You're not processing things normally. 100%. He gets out, he's confused, he's trying to make sense of what's happening, and then he goes to get back in, probably to leave, which I think would be the logical thing to do. That would probably be most people's thought process, like, holy shit, they're shooting, I'm gonna leave. And then that's when they throw him down. That is absolutely just big cop L. I don't think there's any excuse. Like, there isn't, like, yeah, there's, like, actually no time for him to not even follow orders. It is 20 seconds from the time his car gets hit the second time. Actual 20 real-world seconds. He's getting arrested right here, and the second time he gets hit was right here. Well, well, a little before that. But yeah, roughly like 20 seconds. What a wild situation. God damn. That was a crazy chase. They used the, ho the homeless man's shopping cart as cover, did they? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? Why? Why even? There's three cops using the homeless guy's shopping cart as their cover. But why? Like, you use this. Like, this would be better. And using other cops as cover. Oh, well, that's not, like, uncommon. Like, if this, you're talking about, like, this clusterfuck here. I don't think it's necessarily using other cops as cover there. I, I don't... I don't really know what the fuck you'd call this. But they're just all trying to get behind this car. And grouped up. This is just pure wackiness. I don't know what situation a shopping cart is going to be a good form of cover, but... Godspeed. Better than nothing. Is it better than nothing, though? I don't know. At least with nothing, you're more maneuverable... Here, for some reason, you're taking cover, so if, if shit pops off, you're gonna be, like, ducking behind a shopping cart. Like, you're better off just, like, doing tactical rolls around there, like Dark Souls. Mobile cover? It's... What do you mean mobile cover? It's, there's no cover there. It's a fucking shopping cart. It's very porous. Now, this was, like, a steel bucket shopping cart, maybe. Could also be a firing platform. Eh, maybe. I guess. That'd make more sense than them actually thinking it's good cover. Holy shit, how many of them stack up on this shopping cart? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Alright. Oh my god, what the fuck? So many of them around this shopping cart. Just get behind the police car or like literally anything else. Holy shit. It's like half the department's behind the shopping cart. Yeah, the car catches fire eventually, I know. I saw. I want to see if they push the cart around. I didn't pay attention to that the first time. No, they don't. Riot shield inside shopping cart is galaxy brain. That would be galaxy brain. That would be huge. Have they released anything about the uh, driver? Because I didn't see anything pop up about him. They let him go for being a Dallas Cowboys fan. He's suffered enough. Yeah, well, that is rough. That is that is a, that is rough.